hacerlo más rápido, así nos vamos a, a tomar. Let's go quickly so we can have a break. The current proposal has several stages, as you've seen here in the presentation by the moderators, but there are two status that are not reached consensus and not ratified that may remain as such indefinitely. This is the old proposal, actually. This is the old version. I had sent the second version. Let me just say it. The, in version one, the difference, the uh, difference between version one and two is really is when Oh, thank you. Here it is. So let's go back. What is the rationale for this proposal? Not having proposals in the status and not reach consensus and not ratified. Para dar esto, tenemos cinco propuestas. We have five proposals that have been there for over two years, not reaching consensus, and two just that are about to turn one year old. The text of proposed has two parts. One is deleting an error that we all make, that all of us that start with this, that we, the, we, the function of the moderators is says decide whether a policy is abandoned, but it should say, decide whether a proposal is abandoned. So what I propose is in my pr proposal, I remove that and uh, makes LACNIC responsible so that after 12 months of being in any of these statuses, uh, it may go to abandoned. The difference is uh, the 12 month term. I think that in the past I had put just t 10 months just uh, for the sake of debate. The uh, our moderators do not decide uh, abandoning uh, now. It is responsibility of LACNIC to execute it automatically after 12 months. Automatically doesn't mean that you have a robot that will go and press a button. But uh, the people of uh, LACNIC may uh, say, well, we, uh, after 12 months, let us pass it to abandon. So. This is uh, the flow of the status of a new proposal less than 12 months. And the author can decide whether to present a new version or to remove it from discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Tomas. Now we invite Franco Cabrera of the staff of LACNIC, who will give us an analysis of the impact. Good morning. We are going to present the impact analysis of this proposal. So, as a comment from the staff, we repeat that if this proposal reaches consensus, it will be applied for the versions only after its ratification. For this version of the proposal, we do not have any recommendations, and the implementation of this uh, policy proposal would be done manually until it is implemented as an automatic mechanism in the system. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Franco. Now, let us start with the discussion. So, we invite you to share your doubts, uh, opinions or comments on the proposal. The room has two microphones, so we invite you to get closer, to approach uh, the um, microphones, to say who you are. For those of you connected uh, remotely, you have the Q&A panel in, uh, in the uh, lower uh, part. Uh, in the toolbar, or you can raise your hands. Each question has two minutes and for to, to be explained and up to two minutes to be responded by the author. Good morning, I'm Jordi Palet. I agree with the proposal. What I cannot agree with by no means is in the comment of the impact analysis that this would not apply for previous proposals. That doesn't make sense. Even if you see the proposal in uh, legal terms, however you want to read it, what it clearly states is that you need to apply it 
from now on, and that means that any of the proposals, and uh, there are several that are my own, any of the previous uh, proposals in those inert uh, statuses, to, when a year goes by from the time that uh, the proposal was implemented, should follow the procedures indicated by the proposal. Yes, I agree with Jordi. Wesley Correa, as I agree with the proposal, and I think that it will better optimize the process of policy development, and I was about to add the same thing as Jordi said, regardless of the whether it's they're already in the process as abandoned or in limbo or wherever. Once implemented, um, then once uh, the 12 months have gone by, then those proposals would enter in uh, the abandonment. Uh, Arturo Servin from Google. I quit participating in the public policy forum a while ago, but when I started reading the discussions, I had a hypertension, and that is happening now. I think we have a big problem in the public policy forum because we are devoting time for uh, in material policy. We are investing a lot of time in things that are very important, and I thank you for your time. But there are other things that are more important, such as transfers, legacy, resources, and not uh, 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 stops and commas. Uh, so that's a bit uh, in the limit of my patience. But um, well, I'm, yes, I'm saying it truly. I think that we need to be more critical in the proposals that we have to discuss here because we are investing a long time. I don't have the time to read the proposals. I read this this morning, but I, I think that we do have a big problem. I think that there are religious discussions of the things that we have in the policy, and I think that this is a comment for the end. But Domasi, you were the first of these policies. So I, I don't want to um, discuss this. Yes, so we consider your point. Ariel Wecher, uh, uh, dark side. Uh, um, well, thank you, Mr. Lynch. And in favor of the proposal, this optimizes reading and times. It gives us more time for discussion of other things. It gives us more time in the forum. It gives us more time. Thank you. So I'm in favor. Very quickly, Ricardo Patara, I'm in favor of the proposal. And I understand the um, concern about uh, the impact, uh, but that is not what happens uh, with uh, the policy. It doesn't indicate whether it's past or future. So, well, if it has happened, um, um, if 12 months have gone by, well, maybe at the time of implementing the decision may be another. So we'd like to focus on the text of the policy as it is, and uh, I agree. So let us go. Uh, let us omit uh, things that are not in the text of the policy. Thank you, Ricardo. Thank you all for sharing your view. We want to thank the author. Franco, I don't know whether you have questions on Zoom now. So let's go on. Now, let us measure the temperature in the room to consider it when we are measuring consensus. We remind you that even if the Zoom tool indicates that you need to vote, we are not actually voting, but we are probing or measuring the temperature in the room. The result of the survey uh, does not indicate whether it reaches consensus or not. We invite the staff uh, to see whether they can help us with this. So you can raise, uh, well, in Zoom. So now let's uh, probe uh, the room. Uh, let's uh, 
let's uh, launch a pool for those connected uh, via Zoom and for those of you in the room, the staff of Lucknick will start counting. Please raise your hands if you're in favor of this proposal. Keep your hands up. Can you confirm uh, the counting? So now raise your hand if you are against this proposal. Thank you. You can uh, lower your hands. Uh, now, abstentions. Thank you. The proposal LAC 2023 3, version 2, considerations for declaring a proposal as abandoned complete uh, this initial period now. So from now on and until two weeks from now, the moderators will communicate to the community whether a consensus was reached. Thank you. Well, so, so far this first session, we'll go on with the next proposals after the break. So, see you at 11.15.